Okay, it works. And holy cow, if Vargoth survives, we're gonna get another Skull of Gul'dan and cycle through our deck like nobody's business. Huh, this should be interesting. So one thing I really wanted to try out in Demon Hunter was using Archmage Vargoth. So I wanted to see if we could get extra value from Metamorphosis with Archmage Vargoth. And how that works is we play Archmage Vargoth, Metamorphosis, and use Metamorphosis on their face to deal five damage. Then, at the end of the turn, Archmage Vargoth casts Metamorphosis again, and we get two new charges for Metamorphosis. Of course, that doesn't give us like infinite value with Metamorphosis, but it is pretty cool. So this deck is pretty powerful. It's your typical tempo Demon Hunter, but it does have Archmage Varga. So not the best, but a really surprising extra burst of damage. So not only can you use Archmage Vargoth with Metamorphosis, but you can also use it with Skull of Gul'dan. You won't get the discount, but you will be able to draw through your deck even more. So pretty good. Check out this game and let me know what you think. Hey, look, it's a priest. Actually, that's maybe worse than Demon Hunter. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Seder Overseer is actually kind of nice, so let's hold on to him. Ooh, I like it. One, two, three. Uh, does he mulligan his far left card? If not, we might hold on or hold off from smacking him around a lot. Though, against a priest, most of the time, they're slow enough that we're going to be able to pull our crazy stuff. Archmage Vargoth, Metamorphosis, and test it out. He did mulligan his far left card. So we are going to start hitting him next turn. So we Umber Wing into Seder Overseer, and that's two charges, and then we have four mana. So I highly doubt we play Altruist on turn four, but we're playing these two. Okay, that's probably dead. That's fine. Sad, but fine. You didn't get any healing out of it. Whatever. Ooh, never mind, we're doing this. Okay. The drawback is Seder Overseer is not as exciting. Um, but getting value out of Sigil Runner right away, highly important. We can still Umberwing and Hero Power next turn and set up for Seder Overseer the following turn. Because we want the board presence. So yeah, we wanted the value from um, Sigil Runner. And then next turn we can Seder Overseer Hero Power again. Because obviously we don't need Ashtang yet. And there's another upper, Umber Wing to uh, help us out on turn 5, potentially. Rawr. So much face damage. <laughs> and another weapon. Uh, we don't have the healing weapon. So this is our last weapon, yeah? Do we have any more? Well, twin slices. Buff our hand. Or buff our attack. But yeah. Uh, of course, Holy Nova would be an annoying follow up by our opponent. In which case, we probably just Ash Tongue. For some board presence. We might do it anyways. Okay, yeah. Um, that's four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's put the pressure up. Next turn, we imprison Antian. Again, I would like actually to get some healing from this and care about that. Okay, so he used Holy Nova. He needs another Penance to deal with the Battle Fiend or another Holy Nova, probably not. Uh, though they do have another, yeah, that, Breath of the Infinite to deal with that. Uh, fortunately, this always gets to go off. Uh, let's hold the weapon. Sometimes there's actually something we care about. But he has had clear after clear after clear. That is annoying. Uh, we don't have an immediate way to deal with that right now. There's Archmage Vargoth, so test component number one. 
Alright. Um, next turn, Coilfang Warlord. Yeah, it doesn't really deal with... Oh wait, Antian's gonna wake up. And clear most of his stuff. And then we can just hero power into... Uh, or run our weapon into the 3-1 that's left over. Unless he drops another Cartoot Defender. So, absurd amounts of healing, and AoE clears. It's actually really effective. <laughs> and probably a bunch of resurrection effects, so... Yep, that's fun. Mm, love it. So much fun. Shadow Word Ruin will punish us if we play Quilfang Warlord here. Because this is a 10 6. Yep. Twin Slice, not terribly exciting. Uh, though with Altruist, actually. Hold on. Altruist. Twin Slice, so that does two damage to everything we hit here. Okay, yeah, we dealt with it. Alright. So if he Shadow Word Ruins or Shadow Word Deaths, then he just gets rid of the 10 6. But he needs, like, he can't Plague of Death yet. Uh, so I don't think he can deal with all of this. Never mind. If he's got Shadow Word Death as well, then our opponent just has, like, the luck of the gods. Um. Okay, let's smack him for 10. Out of your We're still doing it. I mean, can you pass up on 10 damage to his face? <laughs> really? We might not get the discounts from Skull of Gul'dan, um, but then again, it depends on what we top deck, because we have a lot of things that now at 10 mana, we can actually just uh, cast. Shadow Word Ruin would leave us with a... Okay, we can punch 10 damage again, but he's going to be at 28 when we do it. <gasps> We're never dead here. So let's play, yep. Okay, so we play this, we use it, we play Vargoth, and then he casts Metamorphosis for us, refreshing us to two charges. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, it works. And holy cow, if Vargoth survives, we're going to get another Skull of Gul'dan cycle through our deck like nobody's business. Um. <laughs> so Shadow Word Ruin deals with our two big guys, but it gives us a taunt, so that's seven damage, um, plus another five from Hero Power. Skull of Gul'dan um, cycles us to get some more resources. Not much that could go face immediately, though. Uh, Priestess of Fury, though, would be... Actually, if we skeletal down before Metamorphosis, then um, we could play Priestess of Fury if we top deck her. Okay. Alright. So our Vargoth is going to survive. Um, but we do end up with a Taunt instead. Let's skeletal down. Oh my gosh. She's in the outcast position. Okay. 
Oh shoot, it could actually cast that instead of Skull of Gul'dan. I could get punished for uh, how I did that. Hopefully not. Skull of Gul'dan, Skull of Gul'dan. Yes, thank you. They're not discounted, but they got drawn. Okay. Uh, so we've got six burst damage, kind of. Uh, if we can clear the board. Plague of Death, likely here. Um, but... Oh? Well, no. Still could be Plague of Death. And he could actually discover an extra copy, which would be annoying. Um, yeah. So we can do quite a bit of damage here. Never mind. Alas, poor warlock. My blade will sing. No reason to use second slice. Um, next turn we've got another discounted Priestess of Fury plus Hero Power plus other hero power. <laughs> We've got a few options. So 15 damage out of our metamorphosis. By the way, our opponent has had ridiculous amounts of healing and board clears, um, but it may just not be enough. Hopefully it's not enough. We want to get there. Uh, that's certainly encouraging. Oh, okay. All right, so he's at 17. So that's six, seven, eight, plus five is 13. We can put him down to four with what we've got right now. We need six mana for that. So we've got three more mana after this. Gonna go ahead and do this, committing a little bit to the board, hopefully not over committing. Eye beams can help us clear something. Um, so he's down to 10. We've got, with hero powers, six damage to show. And we lost the game. That's amazing. Ah, uh, wait. Maybe not. We just need one damage to go face. He's dead. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> cool. Very cool. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.